But first, Julia Jewelry. Julia has been a company that has been supplying me with their rings and their jewelry for how about this last past year and so. They were like, do you wanna share something for Valentine's Day? And I said, sure, I'll share something for Valentine's Day. Julia Jewelry. They have a wedding collection, rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, charms, and design your own custom made jewelry. They have all kinds of gift sets for every special occasion, or maybe just something that you're looking for for yourself. Go check out Julia.com. So here is their ring. So just a pretty ring. I like their rings. I like them. I like to wear them every single day. Um, I'll take them off if I'm doing like big giant cleaning of the sink and that, but for the most part I just leave it on and just wear it. So if you guys want some Julia jewelry, go check out below. They've got great, great things. Get yourself some jewelry for Valentine's Day. I feel like you should do that instead of chocolate, unless you really love chocolate. So get yourself a ring or, or necklace. They have great necklaces. You've seen my necklaces that I've worn. Um, and if not, go get some chocolate or something else too, right? That's a good thing. All right, so thank you, Julia, for providing me with your product to share with my viewers. So go check out Julia. Great company, good people. Julia Jewelry. Hey guys, okay, it is Monday. Happy Monday to you. I hope your day is going well. I got up today and I was feeling like I was sitting at my desk for a really long time and I'm like, I've gotta get out of this desk and get over here and start talking to you. So, it's busy. Some of those days you're busy when you wake up and you're like, tired sometimes you get tired i feel like the winter time it's just a time where you just kind of want to be a little bit more tired lazy whatever the word is don't they call it something the winter blues i don't know winter blues with 65 degrees oh, today it's going to be close to 70. i don't even know what to do with all that i'm so excited it was gorgeous we had a good weekend what did we do last week was the snow remember the crazy snow we had on friday I filmed with our um lauren's wedding we had that crazy snow for a day and then saturday it kind of rained and it was kind of blah so i sat and did taxes. Not all of them, but I started on taxes. We both we have two businesses, and so um, lots of receipts, like a box, like this big, like of receipts. And I was like, okay, I love like adding. That's my favorite thing to do is numbers, and I enjoy that. But the sorting out, I was like, okay, it's taking me a long time. <laughs> but I I got a good start at it, so that's a good thing. So start on that. I did a lot of that on Saturday, and then what else? I don't even think what else did we do? Anything exciting? I don't think anything else too exciting. No, nothing too exciting. And no. And then Sunday we had church. That's exciting. Love going to church. Love going and being a small group leader and ministering to kids. It's it's a good thing. It's a great thing. Great thing to be part of the church. Always good to go help. I you know I really enjoy. I think I I heard a speaker say one time. They said, "Be that one for that child that no one was for you." or the one you wish someone would have been for you. So I know I've had certain people in my life that have like impacted me like in that small little way and you're like, I remember them, I still remember them. And it was that consistency and that, you know, kids like the same person to be there every single week for them, even though it's just an hour and they might be crazy because kids can be crazy and loud and you don't get anything done, but they still know like Miss Amy's gonna be there this week. You know, they know their specific teachers are gonna be there this week, and that's like so important for a kid. And so being there and just like pouring into them, they're fun. Even the ones that don't listen half the time and they're loud and everything else, they're still there. And then that one time you get that like connection, like, oh, we connected, we had a, we had a bonding moment, that's good. It makes this, this mama go, okay, that's good. Even though I'm not their mama, it makes me go, this is good, so I enjoy that. I had a great time there. Came home and then, um, what else did we do? We came home and sat for, we had lunch. We pulled out all of our leftovers. We <laughs> Saturday I was like, I don't even wanna make anything. And I said, I don't know. Lauren's like, what do you wanna make for dinner? I'm like, uh, peanut butter and crackers? I don't know. <laughs> so she's like, mom, we have to have food. I'm like, you make whatever you want. So she made some um, kielbasa and some fettuccine Alfredo. And so we just pulled that out for lunch and had that when we got home from church and then, uh, Picked it up, I'll put it away, and then it was the Super Bowl, you know, and since I'm such a Super Bowl fan, I'm not not a sports person at at all, not at all. My husband and I, before we got married, I was young, and I still remember how much I dislike sports. Um, even though I was cheerleader, all those things, I remember being like, if you're gonna be one of those men that sit and watch football and sports every single day, we're not gonna get married, and I told him that. <laughs> 
and I don't mind if you watch the sports. We, we don't, he's not a big sport person. He'll watch a game and he watches football, but he's like, don't worry, I'm not gonna be that way. So yeah, he, he's not. I just, I can't do it in wives that can. That's awesome. I just am not into that. And to have that football, basketball, baseball, whatever's on TV all the time, not cool. Not cool. Not for me. So he's not, but it was the Super Bowl and I was like, Oh, I have to think about food, don't I? So I did, we had bought ribs at the discount store and I, so I planned on making those, but in my head I'm like, what's the rest of us gonna eat? We don't like ribs. And so I'm like, I will just go stop because I have to do my huge shopping tomorrow or today I'm gonna pick it up. But I have to do my huge shopping, which I'm gonna pick up today. And you'll see that this afternoon and then, but I just didn't have anything yesterday. So I went and picked up Evan and Jaden were done with their, um, they went to, a conference for teens over in Tennessee and had a great time and so uh, I went over there and picked them up and then I said okay let me stop real quick at the grocery store so I just ran to the grocery store and picked up we had pizza rolls that we picked up for the Super Bowl ended up eating those on Saturday because I didn't want to cook again I know lazy lazy <laughs> just was busy doing other things so we had got another bag of pizza rolls for dinner I got ingredients for a salad which was really good and then um, we had simple I had a friend come bring salad which just lettuce Cucumbers, olives, and peppers, and vinaigrette dressing. It was the greatest salad ever. So I got those same ingredients. It's simple, I know. We got those, some bread, and then I picked up ice cream. I just picked up tons of different ice cream flavors. Got some bananas and some, we had toppings. They made banana splits and ice cream, and that's what we did last night. So I was like, I didn't even feel like making a whole lot. I was already like tired and full by the end of the night. So I was like, whatever. So we just put that all out. Greg cleaned it all up, got everything washed, washed pants, and cleaned everything up really good and I sat on my chair over there and I was like I'm gonna go to bed so I think it was like seven o'clock yeah it was early I think it was in bed by 7 30 I went to bed Stephen was in there and he's it was funny because everybody was downstairs watching the Super Bowl the girls Lauren came up she's like look at look at all the girls are even down there getting into football I'm like yay them and I said yeah but look at the two little boys they were like in their bedroom playing <laughs> So I'm like, they're not into football. So Steven and I went and watched Fraggle Rock in my bedroom and I fell asleep. So that was what we did last night. And then we used our Chrome, we don't have TV, but we um, got Chromecast from Ashton and Paul. Didn't know how that worked with our internet, but it did work. They were able to cast it to the TV. I just told everybody, shut off your devices. Nobody used the Wi-Fi. <laughs> So we were able to use the Chromecast and they watched Super Bowl. I didn't see what it was like, but they said it worked and was good. So I'm like, that was good to know. So that was our night last night. So I went to bed. My eyes opened up at three o'clock this morning. I was like, ooh, I'm not getting up this early. So I threw in a sermon, fell asleep watching that and woke up and got up about six or 5.30 and I was, here I am. Sat at my, got out here and I'm like, okay, I got my list of what I have to do today. Just kind of getting things out and then, um, I'm like, I need to get moving and get cleaning and that's what I'm here doing today. So I hope that your Monday's going well, but I'm still in that, like, what do I have to do? But I have my cleaning schedule over here on my board. Let me grab it. Now, I already know what I have to do every single day of the week, pretty much, but for those of you that are starting out fresh in the homemaking world or still don't know where to start, make yourself a cleaning schedule. So I have my cleaning schedule. So if I did not know what I'm doing today, I would go look at my Monday and I would know exactly what I have to do. So I know basically I'm gonna start picking up and running the robots and wiping bathrooms. And then we have a lot of extra chores that the kids help with. So that is gonna be my day today. Get this going. We're gonna make some, I don't know, we have a lot of leftovers for dinner. So, but I did, I am gonna, I ordered my, um, groceries so i'm gonna go pick up groceries i'm gonna show you that today too um what we get do a little grocery haul for you today what else do we have is that it yes <clears throat> and i'm hoping to get out to the park today because it's gonna be like 68 degrees today and yesterday was gorgeous it was like 62 65 but um didn't even get to get outside because we were busy running in between the way i had to pick up the teens it just did not work out so i want to get out and go to the park today because it's gonna be a gorgeous day. So that's gonna be our day. So you ready to get going with this day? Oh yeah, let's get going. Now I'm gonna get going on with my day. I'm gonna put my earbud in, turn it on. I think I'm gonna do worship music today because that's how I'm feeling like I need some motivation for my life. So I have a lot of US. What do you want to listen to? I have my playlist right on my YouTube channel. You can just go to my YouTube channel and I share my um, favorite song list and that's what I'm listening to. So let's get going again. I don't have much to pick up because my husband washed dishes. It's just kind of picking up, putting away. I'm gonna get the floors, everything off the floor so I can run the robots and we have tons of laundry to do. I know we have that. 
and then it's kind of straightened. So I think we might do, I'll show you my, we painted some walls this week. I'm gonna show you that we painted those. Um, I have another wall to paint and I'll show you all that today. So, all right, let's get going with our day. Let's go for a happy Monday. Let's get moving and get things done.
All right, so cleaning is coming to a little bit of a halt here. Let me make sure, okay, make sure, make sure I'm not showing anything. Um, I got the bathrooms cleaned. Now I'm gonna go do my, I'm waiting for the floors. I looked, I'm like, oh, there's still crumbs out here. So the robots are a little slow today, which is okay. <laughs> They'll get the floor swept and then I will um, wash the floors here a little bit and then do my bedroom. I have to, my husband just got up, he's getting in the shower. So I'm like, oh, honey, he needs to wash the bathroom out, but he's in there right now. So I'll wait until he's done. So I thought, well, what can I do while I'm waiting? Cause I'm just patiently waiting. But I know I wanted to share um, my menu for the month. So this is uh, my grocery plan for the month. We did the same kind of thing last month. Sometimes I do like a big freezer meal. Sometimes I just do a partial one. It just depends on life. So my monthly plan for the month is just gonna be simple. I just did double of everything. So I wrote everything down. So what we're gonna plan on for our meals, we're gonna do, and I'll share with you my menu plan. I don't know, ooh, I don't know if I should just show you it because my handwriting isn't super neat, but this, this is all I did. I went down and just wrote out kind of what we really enjoyed eating this last month and just kind of doubled it as well. Um, I found the double was a good number to have it twice during the month and we're not sick of it. We really like that marinated chicken. That was one meal where we did the uh, Parmesan Caesar dressing. I got some at the discount store, you saw that. And then we just had Celentani. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I say it, um, with spaghetti marinara sauce and spaghetti or spaghetti sauce, whatever I make. But we are loving the spaghetti squash. That was something, um, I got that a long time ago in the summer and I was like, this is gross and we never eat it. But we really, really like that. So Lauren's like, make sure you get more of that. So I'm gonna get six of those when I go shopping today. So I'm gonna make one of those for pasta. And we're gonna do the yellow, um, right? It's, it's Janita Warfield, Warfield's um, recipe. It's yellow rice with chicken, black beans, corn, and green chilies and tomatoes. Super simple crock, or pressure cooker recipe. We're gonna do two of the jambalaya because we really like that without the shrimp because we have allergies to shrimp. But um, sausage and chicken in it, super easy. Again, that's gonna be another throw together, put in the bag, put it in the pressure cooker kind of meal. We're doing fajitas twice because we really like fajitas with chicken and the beef. Um, fried rice, we didn't do any fried rice. Oh yeah, we did one date with fried rice. I got two on here because we really like that. That's a good thing with egg roll in a bowl. We're gonna do, um, I made that recipe, the cake boss's wife recipe. The shell pasta i can't remember what the name was called something chinchillati or something but it basically it's a pasta shell a uh, medium shell so i got one of those with broccoli olive oil garlic onion and a little bit of parmesan that was so good everybody loved that which i was really surprised so i'm gonna make that twice actually i got sloppy joe's on there because we've made sloppy joe's in forever two meals of sloppy joe's macaroni and cheese um chicken sauce oh my soup the good soup that i make amy's gather your fragment soup with the chicken sausage veggies and heavy whipping cream love that favorite soup um, I got uh, tomato soup and grilled cheese because the kids were like, we need to have this again. They really like grilled cheese and tomato soup. So I got that for two meals. Sausage, red beans, and rice because that's another favorite of ours. Um, hamburger stroganoff because I have cream of mushroom I found in my pantry and freezer and I have noodles. So we're going to make hamburger stroganoff. Um, I just, I'm going to make spaghetti sauce and meatballs. I don't, um, I'm gonna make meatballs because I have all those crackers, remember? And I decided we're not gonna eat all those crackers. So I decided to do, I'm gonna grind those all up and make a bunch of meatballs and have two meals of meatballs basically with some spaghetti or you can have it with the spaghetti squash, whatever you feel like having. Um, I'm gonna do one, what do I have roast dough? Oh, roast, we're just gonna have a roast. Simple easy, we haven't had roast in a long time, just cook a good roast like London broil in the pressure cooker, it gets really tender. Might do that with pierogies. One of my viewers, I got your name, and I'll share it with you when I make it. She told me about homemade pierogies, because we buy them, they're like, you know, $10 a bag, and they're delicious, but she's like, you can make those. And I'm like, okay, so we're gonna make our own pierogies. She gave me some great recipes, some with um, potatoes, the traditional one, but then she gave me ones with sauerkraut, so you know I'm making the sauerkraut one. So I'm gonna try those, I ordered my um, pierogi maker, and so we're gonna try it out, see, it's gonna be something fun to make. And then, what else? the i'm gonna buy a rotisserie chicken because i realized that's so cheap even though i bought those frozen ones the discount store i'm gonna buy one that's already done so we can have it for a quick lunch or whatever day that i'll be doing my meal prepping day so that was some sweet potato fries and regular fries we have some fruit something different we're gonna make this month is pad thai and drunken noodles lauren and i have been lauren while well, lauren first she started going to this boon chu place which is thai food and she's like oh mom it's so good i'm like oh are you sure it's so good well then i went with her and i'm like wow this is really really good so i found two recipes online i'm going to try to make it with it we have an asian um don't matter back ends are coming hopefully they're not too loud. an asian recipe a re restaurant no asian market sorry in our town so i'm gonna go head there and see if i can get some of the things that i need for it we're gonna try some of the recipes out i don't know we're gonna try it i told lauren i'm gonna try to make your favorite food because her birthday's coming up then it'll be actually you guys will watch this it's probably this week it's gonna be her birthday's the 13th madeline's is the 14th and valentine's day and she's 
actually coming up too on the 10th, so I think it's a week, whatever the date is today, I don't even know, but my birthday probably is today, the 10th, Lauren's is the 13th, Madeline's is the 14th, so we're gonna have that. That's gonna be simple. Um, the vacuum's are loud, aren't they? So sorry. Lunch, I just put simple lunch. We have a lot of lentils and rice, we're gonna do that. Peanut butter and jelly. The Mexican grilled cheese, because I really like, I have a whole bunch of refried beans and cheese, that's easy, and then all the leftovers, there's always something for lunch. And then I wrote down for breakfast, we're gonna do um, yogurt bars, like those, but I bought, I'm gonna get the store yogurt, um, and then make it with these yogurt granola that does not have seeds in it, because they like that. I'm gonna make some homemade yogurt this time in my pressure cooker, because I have gotten rid of my big giant coolers. Amy, I throw things away, I know it's wrong, because I have those other coolers that I, um, that I just put in my car, they're smaller. But I forgot I used my big coolers for yogurt. I'm like, ugh. So I'm hoping, I'm assuming I can make it in the pressure cooker, just not a huge amount like we normally do, but that's okay. I can do smaller amounts. So sorry. So I'm gonna make some homemade yogurt because Stephen's like, Mom, we're gonna have homemade yogurt. I'm like, yes, I need to make that for you. So we're gonna do that this month. We love those ham and egg cups. I got all that ham at the discount store. Um, chocolate oatmeal cups because I love those. We have oatmeal. I'm gonna make sheet pan, I put cake and omelet. Pancakes, because you know how much I dislike making pancakes. <laughs> so someone said, make a sheet pan. I'm like, hello. So we're gonna do that with sheet pan. All right, my favorite is when your camera shuts off and you're like, what actually recorded? So I'm gonna repeat myself. Sheet pan, pancakes and sheet pan omelets. I might do those for dinner, for breakfast. We'll see how that goes. Um, what else? I wrote down a few things. I'm gonna be focusing on some salads this month. <sighs> my favorite note is making some um, cabbage vegetable soup. And then I'm gonna do, I love cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. Love it, love it, love it. It's gotta be the right kind. So I like it with um, cranberry, cranberries. And I used to do sunflower seeds, but I actually got some of the discounts and had it with um, my everything bagel topping, and it was so good. So I ordered a bunch of cottage cheese. We're gonna be eating that. Um, lots of salads. We love the salads. My black olives, peppers, cucumbers, and vinaigrette. It's really, really good. So that, and I've got, um, still have the rice cake. So I'm gonna do that with hummus and seeds because that's delicious too. Um, then we have birthdays. And Valentine's Day so you guys are gonna see this like I said it's gonna be the week of but I'm gonna be purchasing for that week so I know for myself I'm like I don't really know what I'm gonna do for dessert so I don't really focus on me but uh, Madeline wants strawberry pretzel dessert for her birthday so we're gonna make that so I wrote that down um, her birthday is Valentine's Day and so she but I also want to make a couple of treats for the kids. And so I have, I was going to make, I have all that chocolate dipping chocolate in there we got this last year at the discount store. So I'm going to do some Oreos dipped in chocolate. We're going to make some truffles because I have stuff for truffles. And the um, Oreo cookies with cream cheese, like with the balls and you can dip them in chocolate. So we're going to just make those. It'll be something fun for Valentine's Day. Everybody can have their own. It'll be great. And then Lauren, I'm going to make her the eclair dessert. That's her favorite birthday treat. That and I'm going to try to do the pad thai. I think I'm going to make pad thai this week after I get all my ingredients and do a sampling run. So that way on her birthday, if I make it, it's not the right tasting one, then she won't be like, oh, thank you. No, she wouldn't do that. But then I can run to the place and get her her real tasting stuff. But I feel like I can make it. We're going to try it. So we're going to do that. And then, um, is that it? That's it. I got to pick up some, that's my list. So that's me, my list. I'm going to go pick up my groceries today. I ordered everything from Walmart. Awesome. I'll show you my grocery haul today. We did the discount store, stocked up our pantry and our extra closet, which is extra stuff, just extra stuff that we don't normally eat, but it's just there to grab. So today I ordered everything from Walmart. I will pick that up. Um, Sam's Club, I did an order. I'll pick up a few things there most, and then I'll run into Aldi and is that it? Yes. And the Asian market. But I'll just do grocery hauls when I get home instead of just do what I want out because it's mostly just veggies um, that I'm going to get like at Aldi because I know they're cheaper. So I'm going to run in there and just grab the few things that I need. The Not the few things, the big things I need. <laughs> so that from there and then run to Sam's, pick up their stuff. And then um, that's it. Pick up my Walmart pickup and head to the Asian market. And that'll be my groceries for the month. And we'll probably do really good not to have to go back for a few weeks. I went back two weeks later from the last month and we still really could have went another three weeks. So like that three week mark. So we'll just see how quickly food gets eaten up. So, all right, that's my game plan for food for the month. It'll be another easy month. It's kind of like double of each one. So I wrote down two, 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 two. So what I'm going to do today is today will be getting the food. Um, tomorrow's gonna be my list of more life video and Wednesday will be my monthly um, freezer meal prep prep for the month so that's what I'm gonna plan on doing Wednesday so you watch that one on Wednesday but today will be the shopping and getting everything picked up so all right get the robots keep going go see if husband is done in the shower so I can wash the bathroom so all right let's go
show Alright, so kids are getting up, they're getting breakfast, and we're moving along, getting chores done. I'm just, basically it's laundry. Laundry is what takes the time, so. Um, but I want to share, you guys share when you guys send gifts to me. I always like to share, and I know one of you told me, did you get my gift yet? But I didn't get a name on the package. You guys sent me some fruit bowls. So if you sent these, please give me your name below so I can properly thank you. So there is this one, and this brown one. So this is perfect because I last week, you'll see in the video, I put on my fruit into a bowl and I had, it was like a salad bowl and I was like, it's gonna get all wet and all the water because I just washed everything. So then these came in the mail the next day and I was like, ah, oh, they're from QVC. So if you gave these to me, please let me know because it didn't have a card in the thing and I know you mentioned about it, but it was just in my comment section. So these are great. So I have nice fruit bowls for the counter, which is good because we've been trying to put them out so that the food gets eaten because a lot of times it does in the fridge. So now I have three little bowls, so fantastic. All right, what else? Everything else is good. Got our school all out. Kids are a little bit slower today, but that's okay because it was Super Bowl fun. I stayed up late on Sunday, so they're getting their oatmeal for breakfast, and then I'm just gonna keep on with laundry, and that's a good thing about homeschooling is you can kinda, kinda move at your own pace a little bit, be a little bit more lapsed on a few things. So we're just gonna focus on them waking up, eating breakfast, and then we're gonna clean their rooms. Steven says no. Yeah, clean your room. <laughs> Do their chores, get ready, and then we got some school to do. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna be a fun day because the sun is out. It's looking beautiful outside. So all right, let me let me keep moving. All right, it's gonna be too dark in here. Getting laundry separated. I'm gonna get my laundry here put away, um, which is good. It's good to hurry up and put your laundry away real quick while the kids are eating. Most of my stuff, I hang up most of my um, clothing which is a good thing. Like my shirts and dresses, I pretty much hang up everything except um, like tank tops. And I have one color, usually leggings, pretty much the same color, they're black. They match everything, I don't have to worry about finding tons of different colors. I do have a few, oh, going out of focus. I do have a few that are colored that um, I got. And those I'll wear for like exercise, but most of the time I'm just wearing the same clothes. So I am just gonna separate real quick I've got my, my tank tops I fold and put in my bin. Just going through all these here. All my leggings are the same. So black, black, black. They match everything. Good color. Never have to worry about finding too many matches. Come on, jeans for church. Kids suck. That's in the wrong bin. Lots of leggings. And then my jammy tops, I just throw them in those drawers too. So, and all my shirts hang up, that's easy. And I used to hang everything up from the dryer, but I started just putting it on like a casual setting and then um, taking it out and I'll just hang it up in my closet and kind of separate a little bit. So that's it, laundry will be done. All right, let's put this all away. so much lately about your face when you're smiling it's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. hey i don't know if i told you that i think you're beautiful and how oh, i can't wait to hold you yeah you pull me up when i'm falling down and i don't know what 
how I do without you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to paradise. Hey, now everything's alright. We've been longing for each other. All right, I'm gonna step outside for a minute. It is so nice outside. Look at how nice it is today. Oh, it's a beautiful day. We are gonna be, I can feel that warm heat coming off that mountain. So good. All right, we are reading our story. The kids are liking that story. The family God gave good story about um, adopted children from other countries. Good story, so we're reading that. And then I was like, you know what? We do need to take a break from it. So they were gonna read some more, but they said we're starving. So I'm just heating up lunch. We had Alfredo fettuccine this weekend. I'm gonna heat that up for them in a, a glass bowl. We can have some applesauce. And then um, I'm doing Stephen's school paper right now. And then I'm gonna be checking Autumn's and Brooklyn's and Jaden's. And then maybe before the two teenage girls, we get to the park, cause it is just nice. You gotta go when it's nice outside. So we're gonna go back in and go do some more pages. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long All right. as I'm with you We're moving <laughs> like, Fly! Trying to get everything done It is so nice I'm just like I'm like crawling at the skin to get out the door. So I'm gonna make my bed, the girls, everybody's got their school done that I can do for right now. So I'm like, you know what? You just, just gonna have to wait for me later. So I'm just trying to keep up on the kids. Like right now the light's on in my bathroom. Let me shut this off. All right, so one more load of laundry I have to put in the dryer and then the girls put their clothes away, the boys put theirs away. I'm gonna make my bed real quick like and then we're gonna get our shoes on. We're gonna grab Maxine and we're gonna get out the door to the park because it's so nice. I have grocery pickup later on. So I think we're gonna get to the park because it's so nice out. I need some sunshine in my my skin here. I'll have to put girls, kids are all in shorts, but I'm loving it. I need some sunshine. So I'm gonna make my bed real quick, get this part done. All right, I'm running around. I am trying to get myself together. I'm getting there. The kids are already in the car, which is good. So I'm gonna run. I just flip laundry out real quick. There's one more load going. Towels. I'm gonna grab my walking shoes right now and go to the park because it's so so nice. So I'm gonna get my shoes on. I listen to you guys about wearing shoes. I'm a barefoot kind of mama. Love going barefoot. Where's my stuff? But it's dark me. But. Shoes are good too, so I'm gonna put on my T buzz and get ready to go. Ticket to paradise. <sighs> the kid says it feels like summer right now. It's February. It's February, it's 70. Well, I wish the pool's open too. I would go to the gym. The water okay. wants to be cold though. Yeah, the water be cold. Okay, we're gonna go to the park. Yeah, which is good because it would be so It'd be so great. Okay. Alarm. Let's get back up, we'll go to the park. Alright, we got Maxine the park. Jen's the scooter, Posey scooter, Steven scooter, shorts. I love it.
It is so nice outside. What a great day, beautiful. A couple more people have come, so. Maxine and I are kind of staying over this way. She's just sniffing at every dog pee pee spot that she could possibly find, but it's so great. Kids are riding their scooters. Maxine's marking her territory. She's not pooping, she's peeing. It's like I'm letting all you animals know I've been here. It's just so beautiful out, so what a great, great day. Very glad to get outside. Oh, give me some sunshine with my glasses on you. So, kids are playing at the park there, in between riding their scooters, so I'm just kind of walk around, filming them when I can, but there's a whole lot of people here now. I was like, wow, school or daycare must have just let up, because there's a lot here now, so. All right, we're just gonna go have fun and enjoy this beautiful day. All right, we just got home. Beautiful day. So now I'm gonna go run out. Thank you, Jen, so those your blinds, good job. I'm gonna go run out real quick. Um, Greg is here and I'm gonna go pick up our groceries that we're gonna have for this month. So I will not take you shopping, but I will show you everything I got in the grocery clubs. That sound good? And then, you know what that means after we get all that stuff, it means that we're gonna have a huge freezer meal, well, huge. We're gonna have a monthly freezer meal, meal prep coming up on Wednesday, so we're gonna do that right All right, now. these are the groceries from Sam's Club. So I got bananas here, I got five packs of bananas. Maxine smells the food. Salads, Jaden likes these Southwestern salads, so I got three of those. We got some sweet kale salad, I got two of those. We got some rotisserie chicken, those were good, so I got two of those. You can't order these beforehand, so you just had to go in and pick those up, but it's because it's warm. I got a big giant thing of paper towels for you know who over here, Maxine. Um, got a big thing of onions, because that worked out good last time. Big thing of rolls, two tortilla chips, hot dogs, we had hot dogs one night. I was out of garlic, salsa, hummus I got, I'm trying to members mark, this was cheaper than the other one they usually have. I was out of vanilla, so I got some of that. Got the fresh salsa because we like that. Got pepperoni, finally found the pepperoni at Sam's Club you guys been telling me about, so got that. Guacamole is better to get it in small so it doesn't go bad. I got two mushrooms, tomatoes, lettuce, spinach, celery, oh, there's another salad hidden, and a coleslaw, so lots here at Sam's Club. And Maxine's like, I smell that, no ma'am. All right, Walmart's here. I got a container for Jensen because remember he got that electronic set for Christmas, so he needs a plastic container for it. All right, Lauren's birthday's coming up. She loves the Tad Pie food. Tad Pie is always called, yeah, Pad Thai, Pad Thai, Thai Pod, whatever it's at. <laughs> but I got the ingredients to make it. So I ordered it from Walmart, and it was oyster flavored sauce and fish sauce. But give me a few seconds and I'll show you what I got. Got these, stir fry, I got four of those. Actually, stir fry. Oh, I guess they're all stir fry. I think they substitute, so they just gave me stir fry. That's okay, tons of stir fry noodles. I know we'll eat them up. I thought I had other kinds, but we will use those. Popping corn, because we like our popcorn. Pinto beans, because I'll need some more. Apple juice there. Got Oreo cookies for Valentine's Day. We make the kids um, chocolate dipped Oreos for a treat. We needed a hairspray. Shampoo, see they substituted the Walmart brand for Dial, so that worked out good. Milk, I've got um, three blue and one red because I'm gonna make yogurt with this. Gonna make the yogurt bars. So I bought yogurt already because it's just ready made and delicious, three of those. And then I got a plain to make homemade yogurt with. Heavy whipping cream for soups, that's good. Almond milk, one, two, three, and French vanilla creamer. I got my, however you say this, Celentani, Celentani pasta. 
Got some black olives, got four cans of black olives, got more balsamic vinegar. I had this order before we got everything at the discount store, so we have a lot of dressing. Tomato ketchup. We got four cans of bean sprouts. These are to go with our pad thai we're gonna be making here. Um, tomatoes, I got 10 small ones and one big one. It's just easier for me to do these for the recipes because that's what size it is. So I did those. Got some graham crackers for Lauren's birthday dessert. We got some cottage cheese here. I've got six of those there because I really like cottage cheese. You know what this is. It's called Mama's a Winner Dinner Macaroni and Cheese. Um, big thing of cranberries, pretzels to make for Madeline's dessert. Got some Alfredo sauce because we ate ours this week. Two noodles for dinner we're going to have. This is going to be for our pad thai that we're going to have popping corn because it's good got some extra virgin olive oil i always get just the um, grapeseed oil but someone told me to get this as i said it tastes a lot better for one of the dishes that i make so i've got some puddings and jello for recipe we're making for our birthdays for brooklyn or not brooklyn lauren and madeline and this goes with lauren's got some frozen broccoli peas and carrots corn mixed vegetables okay i usually like the big size chewables of these they didn't have any so i got these they're a lot smaller and they're just orange they didn't have they only had three so we'll see if they're any good cream cheese got that got butter whipping cream for madeline's topping three things of eggs we'll be putting those too so i got some parmesan cheese right here for some recipes sour cream i needed sugar i was out i got all purpose flour for a recipe so i just got regular and a bag of orange cheese two sloppy joe cans to make sloppy joes some green chilies for recipe i need one black bean and one corn so i got that and sunflower seeds this is to go on my cottage cheese so this was walmart's not bad there then this is aldi my husband had this and he really really liked it so i got some more of that i love artichokes couldn't walk out without artichokes they have these two i thought i'd try them asian sesame they were I, i've never seen them before mediterranean so we'll try sweet peppers green peppers i went in there just for veggies but came out with a whole lot more more sweet peppers carrots i got some lunch meat to have with our rolls for sam's club so we can make quick sandwiches and then i turned the corner i was doing so good like not eating out doing really good you know with chips for my husband i turned the corner and what did i spy bang aged cheddar and black pepper you know these are my favorite chips in the entire existence of the world and they only have them once a year so yes i did get four bags that is quite all right i'm going to have to pace myself though and did, i didn't even open them so that's how good i'm doing <laughs> so got some of those because those are my favorite i like this water I got it because I'm drinking it, so it's good. Um, they had a candle. I bought white almond. It smells like almond extract. Really yummy. Two coconut milk for me and my shakes. Spaghetti squash. One, two, three, four, five. I got six of those because we're going to make some spaghetti squash. I just grabbed this because it looked good. I like this kind of stuff for frozen veggies. I got another broccoli, even though I got some at the discount store, but we will use it. Got some mini potatoes because these were really cool. Green onions. And then I got oranges back here. I got grapes. One, two, three, four, five, six grapes. And then Jaden wanted me to get an Asian knife for her, so I did. So there you go, Jaden, got your Asian knife. All right, that was Aldi. Then I went to an Asian store, like a real Asian store, and it was awesome. I came out with this, a seven grains mix for $7. Real chopsticks, this was $2.99. My kids are going to love me 100 pairs, oh my goodness. This stuff we usually get at the regular grocery store, and we get a small bottle for, I'm trying to think how much this is. I think it was, is there a price tag? no price tag on it it was i have the price it was like six seven dollars so that was definitely cheaper than the grocery store got some spring roll wrappers for 2.29 okay so lauren i want to make her pad thai for her birthday i'm hoping i can make it and create it well but then i saw the bottled sauce and i'm like let me just buy that because i'm sure this tastes just fine so <laughs> i got three of those just in case my sauce didn't do well but i know she would have good stuff and i got this I don't know, guys, no dipping sauce. We'll find out if that's good. And tons of rice noodles. Oh my goodness, look at these. Rice, $9 for all of these. For real tiny, I got these wider ones. So those I thought are good. These are rice sticks. So these are $2.39. So these are still cheaper than the price on these. Oh, they're all about the same price, $2. This is rice stick this kind 219 so i thought we'll try them i'm excited because we're really liking this whole new ted pie food pet, ted pie wrong way say it correct amy pet thai food so i'm hoping this will be a good birthday celebration all right and then i couldn't go in our town and not hit our discount store and i'm glad i did because 
walked out with big giant jumbo marshmallows. You know, we'll use these for like Rice Krispies, so they were two for a dollar. So I got those. Sunscreen, because you know the pool will be around the corner. This was a dollar fifty. Yeah, we use sunscreen every day because we go to the pool almost every single day. So this is a good buy to find, brand new, dollar fifty. Um, they had breakfast sausage for a dollar, so I got those and I put them in the freezer. I saw this was Thai stir fry, so I thought, oh, I'm gonna grab that. It was like three dollars, no big deal. These were, I'm gonna do this for my soup. It's a dollar fifty for jalapeno bacon and cheddar. I love these. The bacon smoked good. I love these kind for dollar fifty for these, so I got those. Bologna was a dollar. Stephen and kids love bologna. These were a dollar for pie crust for two packages. So, and they're not expired, they're still within date. So I'm gonna freeze those. I got one, two, three, four, I got five packages there because I'm sure we can do something with them for 50 cents a box, which is awesome. These were $1.99. This organic apples, they were, I wanna say $2.99. $2.99 for this? Yeah, it was the last one there. Then they had these, two for a dollar, already pork sausage crumbles. For two for a dollar? Oh yeah, so I got those. I'm gonna freeze those, which are awesome. And then I came up with snowman cookies because they were two for a dollar. Kids will make those. It'll be fun. James has been like, let's get some for the kitties. So it's 50 cents. This, okay, I usually, I got the small pack before. These were $3.50 for 50. I got one from, I have to look at my price for Sam's Club because this would be $7 for 100. I feel like this is cheaper than Sam's and I like these. So I got these, got another bottle of this because this is good stuff for a dollar. Um, got some pickles for $1.50. This was Sucker Punch. Gourmet pickles, thought that would look good. And then this is my favorite coffee and my husband's shop, blueberry shortcake. I love blueberry coffee. So that is my groceries for the month. This will feed us for the month. And then we might, we probably will go about two, three weeks in and go get some more vegetables. But for now, we are set with food for quite some time. Oh, did I tell you, I forgot to tell you about bread. Hot dog buns and bread. Yes, we got all that too. So lots of good groceries. We'll be all set. Max seems like I need all this deliciousness. Okay, totally forgot to do this. I got Valentine's Day is coming up, so I got my. I'm gonna make chocolates for my kids, so I grabbed these fruit snacks, and then I thought I'd give them a Valentine. I got pets too. I thought that'd be cute, and just give them a Valentine card because that would be a fun thing from their mama. All right, now I'm finished. Gonna put all this away. All right, super busy day, so now we're home. I just pulled out leftovers for dinner. Pulled out some pizza rolls. Yeah. So we have salad here. This with this with. A, Caesar Asagio. I pulled some baked beans, you know, because baked beans go well with ribs. There is some bread. We have cottage cheese as well. And then there is some ribs in here for whoever would like some ribs. We got tons of ribs in here. So this will tide us over until we're making the meals. This is mine. Because she's cranberry and this. So good. All right, what a great day. It is so beautiful right now. The warm wind blowing is so great. So, got all my groceries, life is good. So you know what I'm gonna do? It's like gonna be way too bright for me, I can't even see you. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, all right, now that the groceries are all here, what I'm gonna do now, and on Wednesday you'll see, is all my food prep. So we'll get all the food prep ready for the month. You guys ready to do this? I hope that today was a fantastic day for you. We had a great day. It was gorgeous, beautiful sunshine. Love being out in this weather. Ugh, it just does something for my soul being in that sunshine. So now I'm gonna go eat. I am hungry, I got myself a salad and cottage cheese. Loving cottage cheese, cranberry, and everything bagel topping. Like favorite taste ever right now. I don't know why, I love it. I feel like I can eat that topping by the gallon. I probably could. <laughs> so you guys, I hope that your day goes well. And if not, guess what? Tomorrow's another day, right? Tomorrow's another day to wake up and try it again. So tomorrow I'll be here for less stuff, more life, and then Wednesday another meal prep for the month with Amy. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'm gonna see you again tomorrow. All right, bye.